Guys, this particular episode made me speechless. I have literally nothing to say about it. You might think that I'm making fun of some low-budget animated show that came out of the backwaters of the internet. You know, kind of like what I did with Control Delete. I am not. I have gotten so many requests to tackle the show. It starts with our intro sequence that tells us absolutely nothing about anything. The episode really starts with the bank. And you've already realized the series' biggest problem. Its animation is horrible. In fact, that's pretty much going to sum up all the problems with the show. Most of their humor relies on timing, but because their animation is so stilted and bad, they get the timing wrong. Every. Single. Time. Apparently this commander decides to give our protagonist a bogus task. And you probably noticed another big problem with this show. None of the jokes are funny. In the slightest. And then we're treating to extremely boring filler. Yeah, that's one of the bigger problems of the episode. Absolutely nothing happens! After that pointlessness, we're treating to take another failure of a joke. It's stupid, and it doesn't even make logical sense. We just started, and they've already given up trying to write a decent plot. Hmm... Hey... Wait... This is the wrong briefing paper! Biggest problem number two. The voice acting... is... horrible. Oops! My bad. I don't think it's a stretch to say that I'd prefer to control alt delete over this. Where are the plans you stole from my office? We just came out for some munchies. <laughs> If this is a food trip, then where are your groceries? Uh, 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 oh, but sorry, <laughs> phlegm. I'm getting off track. Back to something almost as bad. We get hit with a few minutes of boring filler before our heroes, I guess, come outside to see the entire bargain mart and. Th <laughs> okay, professionals. If you're going to use that stock sound effect, you only use it when there's supposed to be some tension. The bargain mart isn't threatening in the slightest. I suppose that you're using your time for something better like... Order now! Happy Pills! You will be happy every day! Yay! You know how laziness seems to trump lack of quality in terms of badness with me? Yeah, there's absolutely no fucking effort here. What are you complaining about? You said in the previous episode that you are supposed to be a girl. Even though I'm not! Yes, they are stating that I don't give a shit and I don't give a fuck are pretty gay couple in the show. And I thought that Patrick eating the diaper was bad. Excuse me for a moment. What the holy hell is wrong with you people? So the group decides to split up. This leads to a random walk cycle that's entirely pointless. Sure, they try making a joke, but it doesn't really make much sense. This leads to another single joke, with nothing of substance happening. Either be funny or get to the plot! You know what we haven't had in a while? A totally pointless walk cycle. These are more pointless than the songs in Atlanta Square Pantus. I'm okay. I have one gun with me. I have been beaten only two times already. That never gives a gun an attack against me. You see what I mean when I said that the animation is the biggest problem? If it was fluid and fast-paced, you know, if like the animators actually knew what the hell they were doing, then that could have been funny. Instead, it comes off as really awkward. Also, when the voices are starting to grate. <laughs> Yes, yes, please fucking kill him! Hmm... I wonder if Axel's already dead. I see it. Damn it. And yes, th that is going to plague my nightmares. Oh wait, it already is. Hi guys! Yeah, you know an unfunny joke, if you keep going on and going on with it, IT DOESN'T MAKE IT ANY MORE FUNNY, IT MAKES IT TEDIOUS! And then we're treating to another long portion of nothing happening. Hell, SpongeBob, you're fired. Had more of a plot than this stupid episode. Eventually, and I do mean eventually, when the group decides to. I say. We take over on our base. Yay! That's another problem with the show. The pop culture references are obnoxious, and they're going to get me flagged for copyright. And so, our heroes went home to take over the base and force Sigus to get that package of coffee all ah, by himself. Take them off me! Ah, oh, God, the agony! I've got absolutely nothing. It's been a while, but this has rendered me absolutely speechless. And we end with a- what the fuck am I looking at? My god. My dear fucking god. I'm pretty sure that half my brain exploded. It's bad. It's really, really bad. If it was just a normal, everyday episode, it would have some of the worst writing that I've ever come across. The plot is stupid. 
and it knows it's stupid, if you're turned off by the show, it's cringe comedy, it comes across as another desperate plea for attention by doing the only thing that most shows knows how to do now, making shit like this. And yeah, it's incredibly stupid. Yeah, I'd probably be an asshole if I started doing my normal shtick against projects of passion that had pretty much no budget. But when you make all of these wonderful claims and come out with a project that's objectively worse than Control Delete, you deserve all the scorn and hatred that you get. The jokes are shit, the plot is shit, and horribly dated. And the characters, I would say that they were shit too, but it's hard to tell through the broken audio and uncanny movements. And according to everyone I've talked to about it, calling it just awful, this is one of the better episodes of the show. Excuse me while I strangle myself with my neighbor's pet ferret.